SDMT. Preparation for competition comes to when you start making your cut for your show. I like to do 16 to 12 week preparation for shows where it comes down to my dieting, monitoring my calories, my fat intake, my protein intake, protein intake and my carbs. Um, also my workouts. I'm going to start increasing cardio, I'm going to start mixing up my workouts, burning more calories. So preparation comes to your food, your supplements, um, your recovery, your flexibility, making sure you're trying to stay healthy at the same time of going through these large, you know, pretty much training camps I like to call them because you're putting yourself through an intense training regimen for 8 to 12 weeks, which uh, can be very stressful in your body. Um, your, your immune system, your joints. So at the same time, you're training, you gotta make sure your eating is up to par, you have to make sure your recovery is up to par, you're getting your sleep in, uh, you're letting your muscles recover, and at that same time, you're trying to get the best performance out of your body. So uh, preparation for shows is very, it's very intense, it's very complex, and it's something that uh, not even some pros have mastered. They have to have a trainer help them master it so they can get to their beat their uh, max potential. So uh, preparing for shows is something I've been doing for over 10 years now, and it's something I feel like I've mastered. I've done pretty well in competitions. Really tough and um, intense at the, the last several weeks where you're lowering your water, you're uh, manipulating your sodium, you're lowering your carbohydrates down, you're eating a high, high protein meal. So uh, it becomes very stressful also, and it comes a lot of stress on your body, and then, you know, you're, mentally unhappy because you're putting yourself through this uh in a way this torture or this uh how do you say yeah you put yourself through pretty much a torture because you don't feel happy a lot of days you don't feel good but you're putting yourself through this so at the end of the day you'll be that much stronger like anything in life i like to say i tell my clients stress makes you stronger in life and in the gym you stress the muscle cell it's going to grow and become stronger and that's the same thing in life so putting yourself through these hard training camps it brings out the best in you so I All right, sacrifice is a training. Uh, one of the major things, if you're serious about winning a show or, or being successful, you're gonna have to start limiting your distractions. Uh, so for me personally, I did a 60 week training camp and I chose to give up sex, which is something that's really tough when you're a young man and living in Pacific Beach, San Diego. <laughs> Especially when you're 5% body fat and you're running up the beach with your shirt off, everybody notices it. It's that much harder. Especially to do it purposely. <laughs> it's how many guys do that. But um, so it's really, it's tough and people say, why would you do that? Why is that a distraction? Because it takes you away from your focus. Um, it'll take you into being, you know, girls lead to emotions, girls lead to distractions. They want your time. And when you're doing a show and you're like me out on business, I don't have time, especially during show time. So I have to cut those distractions. Um, going out with friends, um, it's a great time in San Diego to go out with friends, hang out. It's a great city for that. But when it's show time and it's preparation time, you have to limit that and a lot of your friends your good friends understand um, your friends that uh, you know they, they're more needy they don't understand as much and they might not be as cool with you but you have goals and you know friendships are important but my goals I feel are also a little bit more important to me so I limit my friendships um, even my family uh, my mom would get mad at me and um, complain that I would maybe call her once a month and I, if you want to be successful uh, you know it's said best by guys like Arnold Schwarzenegger says I never want to be ordinary you know what I mean I will not be ordinary and I feel the same way I refuse to be ordinary and if I have to separate from myself from the crowd I have no problem doing that to be successful all right you guys this is SDMT I'm going to be signing off. I want to thank you for your time. Hope this was a definitely educational time for you to learn some different things and different perspectives. And also understand that, you know, me being a trainer and why I became a trainer, plain and simple, is to help people. I love my job because I get to help people hands on. You know what I mean? And that's why I love being a trainer. I want you guys to go hard in the gym. I want you guys to get results. I like I like my shirts say, play hard, train harder, and that's the way life should be. All right? So you guys have a great time, and thank you for your time. SD Master Trainer, stay active, San Diego.